and the show is until half two. So we're going to have a little bit of time in London to just kind of float around and sightsee, I suppose. <laughs> but um, yeah, kind of super hungry. We really want to get breakfast when we get there, I think. And yeah, the sun is shining. It's really warm today. I think it's going to be 27 degrees. So that's fun in London. But I'll take you along with me. Wait, We've arrived. Oh God. <laughs> no, I can't. We've just arrived. It is currently quarter past ten and we're gonna find a five guys because Cam's needs a burger for breakfast apparently. <laughs> and I quite like the sound of that as well. We don't have many of them near us, so it makes a special treat to go. So we're gonna go walk to one that's near a park and then wait until eleven for it to open. Because we have until half two to last show, so we've got quite a few hours to kill. So we're on a little mission. We're walking everywhere as well to get our steps in. Oh, look at that um, statue, that's cool. Is that the Mad Hatter's tea party? Uh, no, it's just some... It's more like no, Noah's Ark's tea party. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I just love how there's random stuff in London. It always just, just, <gasps> sun. Sun's come out as well. Right, where are we going? <laughs> left okay we found the five guys and it is really close to the sherlock's hotel 22 one baker street that's really cool <laughs> we found a little park to wait in for like 20 minutes until the five guys is open we should eat our breakfast burgers <laughs> don't feed the birds cams yeah. Whatever you do, do not feed the bird teeth. Oh, it's very warm. It's getting very warm. I love those weeping willows, they're so pretty. I don't actually know where where we are. What this is called. I would actually love how much would you love to just swim in that river right now? Yeah. Just imagine a cool just a cool swim. Just oh it's so warm. <laughs> I'm loving it, not moaning, but I would love a swim right now. That would be really good. Okay, here we go. Let's have a breakfast burger. <laughs> I'm so excited he's tripping. <laughs> I've got the only milkshake flavour that matters, chocolate and peanut butter. Perfect for 10am. Right. Like always order full fries of five guys because they literally give you so many. Is that chips? Oh yeah, mine's spicy. These are mine. Oh, who's yours? Spicy chips. These look so much better than I remember. They're like skin on. I don't think they used to be like this, did they? It will say which one is which. So mine has probably a tip, so I'll be sandwich number one. Time to spare. Look at this fruit. What is that? A rambutan. I would love to try one of those. A mangosteen. Oh, these look lovely. Pumpkins. Those are the brooms. They are a bit touch. Oh, look at this. So nice. Mm. If you, you know, how the other half live. If you fancy some posh chocolates, put them in posh boxes. They are beautiful. In what world? <laughs> not, not my world. It's definitely not my world. We're about half an hour away from the theatre, half an hour walk, and we've got two hours until we should be there. So we are just walking around, leeching, browsing, doing Cam's favourite thing, which is shopping. <laughs> Oh, we just realised, oh, I've just realised that I think they have a new jelly cat shop. 
in Selfridges, so we're gonna go and have a look. I think it's like a fish and chip shop where they serve you up the, like the jelly cat. If you buy one, they serve you up like the fish. I think I've seen it on TikTok, so we're gonna go and have a look. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's in Selfridges. Yeah, it is, look. <laughs> it's a fish and chip shop, so you can buy your battered fish teddy bear. <laughs> Cats are like, what? See, if you don't understand the jelly cat hype, you just won't get it. Like, you're gonna understand it in a minute. You're gonna see the bizarreness. Or maybe you won't because it looks like you have to queue and there's no way I'm queuing up just to look at fish. A battered fish jelly cat. <laughs> look at the queue. These are so absurd. But they're so cute though, cams. Look, you can get a little pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's a potato. It's a porridge. <laughs> We've stopped to have a refreshment because it's got so hot. <laughs> I've gone for a hedgerow elderflower lemonade, which is really nice. Cam's having a sigh. Nice. We're here. We're about an hour early, but we had run out of things to do, so we're just going to see if we can get in. As you can tell from where I'm sat, we are now back home. It's actually the next day I forgot to finish filming because we were so tired after the show. We literally straight got a, got a train straight away, back to Paddington and then back home. And it was quite a journey, it was like a couple of hours. So we were exhausted by the time we got home and just chilled. We were sticky and sweaty and hot and we just got a shower, felt so much better. So I thought I'd finish off the vlog here. Just quick off the bat, I didn't enjoy the show. I feel really bad saying that because I had such high hopes. I think the neighbour's child is dying. We're good? Okay, we're good. So yeah, I won't lie, I really wanted to enjoy the show, but we both just left feeling so meh. Um, I think it was very overhyped. I'm gonna do an in-depth video on the review because there are so many things I think I have to say <laughs> that I think it's worth doing a review, um, like a completely separate review to this video. But I didn't film much. I think I filmed the end of the show, which you probably would have seen, so I'll put it in. <laughs> I filmed on my iPhone because it was just stressful. You're not supposed to film, so I didn't get my camera out. I just took a quick video at the end when everyone else was taking a video. Um, but yeah, so we got a quick snippet of Tom Holland for you <laughs> but yeah it was very overhyped because he was in it and if he wasn't in it i don't think i would have stayed for the whole show we both contemplated leaving halfway through because we didn't enjoy it but then we thought we've, we've paid we might as well stay and see the best part which is the death of romeo and juliet wasn't even good at all so yeah i'm gonna do an in, in-depth review of the show and what i thought of it um yeah kind of annoying because it was so expensive and the whole day was just kind of centered around going to the show we were trying not to spend a lot of money in london so we kind of had a bit of food moseyed around didn't do much kind of just waiting for the show so it's all in all a very expensive day for not a good experience which is really frustrating and i've told myself that is the last time i'm gonna buy something or do something because of a celebrity because at the end of the day they are just people and if something's not good the fact that it's with a celebrity doesn't actually make up for the fact that something's not good. Like I've done it before where I've been to Comic Con because we, I wanted to see the cast of The Vampire Diaries and because you had to queue up to then pay to then take photos with the cast, I was just like, I'm not gonna do that. There's just people at the end of the day. And because I've done a lot of filming as an extra and I've seen a lot of celebrities, I don't think I find it magical seeing people and human beings. I do think I find it quite weird when people hype up people in like a pe and then put them on a pedestal and think they're better than everyone else because they're famous and I think the magic of just seeing a famous person is just not enough I mean he's just a guy at the end of the day and it was super cool seeing him in real life but 
it didn't make the show any better and he was he is just a guy he is just an average guy he has a weird crazy job and people scream at him when they see him it's just weird do you know so yeah i mean all in all we still had a really good day but completely pooped it's now yeah now the next day and it's flipping hot as you can tell i'm literally just wearing no makeup and barely any clothes <laughs> because it's so hot so i'm gonna i'm pretty much gonna film a review and post it very same time as this video so it should it might already be up by the time you see this it might not be we'll see <laughs> but stay tuned for my in-depth review but if you are heading to go see it have an open mind that it won't be potentially won't be what you expect i mean people might really love it but i've seen i've read the reviews now that i've watched it the reviews are saying the same thing they're saying it kind of falls flat and it's a bit dull which is exactly what it was so yeah meh kind of annoying but still had a good day tomorrow we're heading to the air show so i'm going to be filming that as well and hopefully that'll be a bit better but yeah if you're heading or if you're thinking about getting tom holland tickets although i think a lot of them are sold out now i would recommend don't get fomo over it don't buy or spend lots of money on the tickets there is better things you can do with your money <laughs> i won't lie and it was so expensive i'm sad about it but anyway that's enough of that i hope you enjoyed this vlog sorry it was a little bit of a bitty one it's super hard filming in London, especially filming the theatre because you're not allowed to film. Um, also funny, okay, I'm going to add this in, a funny little whoopsie moment. So they're really strict on no filming in the show. Um, I completely understand. The last thing the actors want is a flash in the screen or kind of noise of filming and no one wants to watch the show through a screen. Fully understand that. But... I won't lie, I was sat there and I really didn't, in I wasn't enjoying myself, we didn't enjoy ourselves from like five minutes in, so you know, two and a bit hours in, we were like, oh my god, this is so boring, and I thought, I spent about £300, nearly £400 on tickets, I want something to show for it, and I didn't know that you were kind of allowed to film at the end, so what I did was try and get a sneaky little photo of the death scene, but... <laughs> Because my phone is too smart for its own good, I had turned the flash off, but it decided to override that because it was dark in the theatre. So I kind of sneakily was like playing with my phone, kind of really quickly, just like slightly lifting it, like put it on photo, and I was just kind of like holding it to my chest, and I clicked the button, flash! Right in the middle of the death scene, the whole bloody theatre lit up. Don't get me wrong, quickly went, fuck. <laughs> Cam sat next to me and went, what did you do that for? And I was like, shut up, <laughs> obviously I didn't do it on purpose and I was mortified and I was so annoyed with myself because no one wants a flash in the middle of the theatre, even if you were allowed to take photos, I wouldn't have taken it on flash, like that just, that, who does that? And I was mortified and I was so pissed off and I won't lie, Tom Holland looked directly at me and looked pissed as anything, he was like, doing his death scene and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry that is I'm the worst human being in the world I'm so I, I hate myself I, I genuinely thought they were gonna shoot me <laughs> I felt so so bad but at least now I can lay claim to the fact that I flashed Tom Holland <laughs> I just oh my god that was such a for goodness sake Vicky moment um I have a few of those occasionally and the fit the picture I have to show for it is a black square because you best believe as soon as it started flashing I threw my phone on the floor and was like um because i thought it's gonna get shot and thrown out in the theater so yeah that was really annoying and not worth it and then at the end people got their phones out and started filming them say they like do their bowels and stuff and i thought brilliant i could have if i'd known that was a thing i would have waited so yeah really embarrassing but never mind um at least there's a little funny story and a claim to fame by flashing tom holland but not in the sense that anyone would use that phrase but yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a thumbs up it means the world and drop a little comment if you have something to say if you hate me for flashing in the theater if you've done something similar or whether you've watched the show i'd be really intrigued what you thought of it i'm not a huge fan of shakespeare so it might be that i shouldn't have just gone in the first place but let me know your thoughts let me know if you're going to see it kind of what you think and yeah i'll see you on the next one